Greetings and welcome back to Kim. I'm Catherine of Sky, and last time we found out that Kim may be related to Kimble O'Hara, a soldier in the Irish regiment who died a while back, uh, and were tasked with talking to Father Victor. And I think I see him right over there, so I'd like to um, just start that. Oh, whoops, go away. Let's start back up the game. Don't let too much time pass because... Um, we get hungry as stuff uh, goes on. Okay, so this is Father Victor, Roman Catholic chaplain, age 50. He's responsible, portly, miserly, and a zealot. Let's talk to him. Who is this scrawny lad? The other priest sent me. I think he knew my father, Kimball O'Hara. Powers of darkness below, what a country! I did not thieve. Besides, I am now just now disciple of a very holy man. He is there. We saw two men come with flags, making the place ready. I saw the red bull on the green field. I think the bull shall help me. The holy man said so too. He is very holy. He can witness to all the things I say, and he knows I am not a thief. It is O'Hara's boy, sure enough. O'Hara's boy leagued with all the powers of darkness. It's very much what his father would have done if he was drunk. Dignified and unsuspicious, the Lama strode up, saluted the churches as a churchman, and sat down. Now, Kimball, I wish you to tell this man what I say word for word. You should be grateful that we're going to help you. Holy One, this fool who looks like a camel says that I am the son of a sahib. <laughs> he thinks... Uh, oh, it is true. I knew it since my birth. He thinks that once a sahib is always a sahib, he proposes to send me to a madrasa school. It has happened before. I have always avoided it. The lama's voice was harsh with pain. A sahib and the son of a sahib. But no white man knows the land and the customs of the land as you know. How comes it that this is true? They say I must needs go to a madrasa and be turned into a sahib. Now I make pretense of agreement, for at the worst it will be but a few meals eaten away from you. Then I will slip away and follow down the road. What are you saying? Oh, he only says that if you do not let me go, it will stop him in his business, his urgent private affairs. And if you did not know what his business was, you would not be in a, such a beastly hurry to interfere. The Lama dragged forth his rosary and pulled his huge hat brim over his eyes. What can he want now? He says, be quiet. He wants to speak to him, me by himself. You see, you, didn't, you do not know one little word of what he says, and I think if you talk, he will perhaps give you very bad curses. When he takes those beads like that, you see, he always wants to be quiet. I see. Tell him that the regiment will make you as good a man as your... as good a man as can be. Tell him that if he believes in miracles, consider the chances against it, our regiment of all others on the line, a march for him to meet with. Kim smiled compassionately. If these men lay under the delusion that he would do anything that he did not fancy, so much the better. But the Lama nervously rattled the rosary. The sin is mine and the punishment is mine. My heart went out to you for your charity and your courtesy and the wisdom of your little years. But those who follow the way must permit it Permit not the fire of attachment, for that is all illusion. Now, his tone altered as he turned to Kim. At least I may, acquiring merit, wipe out past ill. Do they sell learning among the sahibs? Tell them I will pay. The rosary clicked furiously as an abacus. As a soldier's boy, you could attend the Sanawar military orphanage for 300 rupees a year. You could attend St. Xavier's at Lucknow. He says he will pay. You must write that name and the money upon a paper and give it to him. Powers of darkness below, a street beggar with 300 rupees. You'll go down to the Lucknow then if you want to go to St. Xavier's, or, ye go, or ye, you'll go to the Sanawar Military Orphanage. Okay, do we have a direction? 
Oh, this is in school. Okay, so we need to go up to Simla to get there. We have no money to get there. Can we... Can we beg for money or something? Ah, let's talk to the farmer. This is Palash Nigam, Hindu farmer. Uh, he's age 43. You're a man of the soil. How is the harvest this year? Oh, the harvest! How fickle a mistress! If you knew how I feared for my family... I pray you do not go hungry. Okay. Wow, requiring a skeleton key. Ay. Who's this guy? Hi. Okay, he's a private, so... Oy. There's too many people about. Hmm. Let's look at the map again. We are quite far from any of these places. Wow. Um, there's luck now. This is school and this is school. Why are there two schools? That's interesting. I wonder if I misunderstood something here. Huh. So it, I can go to either one, actually. I don't know which one's closer. Um... I wish I had money. I wish I had money. Okay, can I talk to my llama? Can you give me some... Oh, we can actually click on these uh, things. Okay, devout. Okay, slender. Alright. Oh, and we can see the recent effects of the opinion of uh, us. <sighs> I'm so concerned about the health amount here. Jeez. Is there anywhere we can beg in the streets? Ah, wretched boy. Okay, let's talk to this Hindu artisan. He's saying nasty things to me. What is the life of, of an artisan? Do you enjoy it? An artisan, you say? Boy, I am a carpenter. There is art in it. Yes, but I am no artist. If that's how you feel. Hmm, okay. We can sleep a little bit. It's, um... I think it's four o'clock in the afternoon, so let's sleep ten hours. Wow. Minus one health. I, I was hoping to go and maybe go to this house here. Can I pick the lock? I guess the lockpick I have is just really bad. Okay, let's go up. Jeez. This one is 5 health and 5 happiness, but... Plus 35 fatigue. 10 health. 7 health. 5 health. Let's go five health. Let's just try to go with the least amount of health loss that we can. Here were all manner of northern folk, tending tethered ponies and kneeling camels, loading and unloading bales and bundles, drawing water for the evening meal at the creaking well windlasses, piling grass before the shrieking wild-eyed stallions, cuffing the surly caravan dogs, paying off camel drivers, taking on new grooms, swearing, shouting, arguing, and ch chaffering in the packed square. The cloisters, reached by three or four masonry steps, made a haven of refuge around this turbulent sea. Okay, we have a bit of rain here. Oh, how do you do? I'll talk to you. Hi. Secret Service Chief! Okay. How do you do? You're Nakmabu Bali's little friend, are you not? Um... Nakmabali. Yeah, I think we are. Till the day I die. He has you well trained, I see. Perhaps you can help me. I left my chiroot case under that tree. Bring it to my house. Kim's quick wit told him he was being tested in some fashion or another, and he stood on guard. Where is the house? You'll find it. Huh. The colonel walked on. Kim rejoiced that he had not betrayed his knowledge of the colonel's house, and when he discovered that no chiroot case had been left behind, he beamed with delight. Here was a man after his own heart, a tortuous and indirect person playing a hidden game. 
Okay, is this his house? No. Keep going. Wait, is this the colonel again? So, do we have the quest to go to his house? What is this? Hmm. Okay. What is this place? Any pick could break this one. Okay, someone is inside. I really don't want to go if there are people inside. Who is this guy? Hindu policeman! I'm sick. Please help me. I'm terribly sick. What can I do? I don't know medicine. There are doctors in Lahore, Delhi, and Lucknow. They will not turn you away. If I make it there. Now on, don't be glum. Find some healthy food to tide you over. We could look at the food we have. Do we have anything that increases... Um, this is two health. One health. Three health. Spinach. Okay. One health. I like that this food is still steaming. <laughs> okay, so let's eat this curry. It'll give us a little bit more health. Oh man, so hard. Is that our policeman? Yeah. Let's talk to our llama. Nope. Nothing to say. Can we pick up stuff on the ground at all? Like this stuff? No. Maybe not. What about this stuff? There's someone inside that house. I want to pick the lock on that house. Alright. Let's see if we can go. Let's go and travel. Oh, my happiness is going down. It was not his fault that, blanketed by wet mists, he conveyed them past the telegraph station and European colony of Kotgar. It was not his fault, but that of the gods, who, of whom he discoursed so engagingly that he led them into the borders of Nahan, where the Rajah of that state mistook them for deserting British soldiery. Oh my god, that sounds bad. Boy. Okay, someone is inside. Oops, go away. How about here? Okay, that is pickable. Who is this? That's a poli policeman. God, I have no money. This is so bad. Okay. Well, I think we just have to keep on going. I can eat some spinach just to keep my health up a bit. Wow. Alright, let's keep on going. Hurry. Yes, yes, there is no place like our hills, said the people of Shamle, and they fell to wondering how a man could live in the hot, terrible plains, where the cattle run as big as elephants, unfit to plow on a hillside, where villages, where village touches village, they had heard, for a hundred miles, where folk went about stealing in gangs, and what the robbers spared, the police carried utterly away. Oh god, there's a dangerous person there. Hey. What do we got here? Hey. I could go get this, and of course that guy needs help, but I don't want to risk myself. Man. You know what? I'm going to be horrible and not help that guy. Boy, I feel bad about it. Oh my god, he killed him! Oh no! Oh crap. Okay, so let's 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 go. Let's travel. For all their marchings, Kedarnath and Badrinath were not impressed, and it was only after days of travel that Kim, uplifted upon some insignificant ten thousand foot hummock, could see that a shoulder knot or horn of the two great lords had ever so slightly changed outline. At least they entered a world within a world a valley of leagues where the high hills were fashioned of a mere rubble and refuse from off the knees of the mountains. The language is so poetic and lovely. What are you? Ah, the, this holy one's disciple. He says you are a spirit. Can spirits eat? For I am hungry. An old soldier bobbled up and, seeing travelers in conversation with the village priest, asked if they would accept his hospitality for the night. 
The priest recommended Kim to do so, but insisted that the honor of entertaining the Lama belonged to the temple, at which the Lama smiled guilelessly. Kim glanced from one face toward the other and drew his own conclusions. Um, let's agree but insist on hiding Lama's purse. The Lama protests at first, but then relents. They are well fed, but the next morning the priest is in a very bad temper. <laughs> That's right, he wanted to steal from us. Alright. What is this? Is that a barrel? What is this? Oh my gosh! I There's food! Oh my god, I didn't realize we could steal from barrels and stuff. That's cool. What's this? Is this a house? Oh, shoot. Can we do anything with the animals here? Like milk a cow or something? No? Okay, fine. So I want to go... Let's try to go northeast or northwest. Um, we'll go north. And hurry. Oh my god, my health. It was not his fault that, blanketed by wet mist, he conveyed them past the telegraph station and European colony of Kotgar. Oh, yes, we, we read that one. All right. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. Okay, this is our noble woman here. Can we talk to you? Ah, I'm sad. I'm at my wit's end. The world is against me. You know what I like to do when I've had enough of it all. I like to chat with the Chaiwalas. They see all India come by their stall and hear about all manner of problems too, I bet. Where can I find one? They are scattered everywhere. Amritsar, Benares, Sarnath, Mussoorie, and sometimes on the roadside. Okay, well that doesn't help me, guy. <laughs> okay, let's talk to this guy about being a soldier. Brave soldiers, such shiny buttons. Do you never fear death? Ha! I crush fear under my steel tip boot. Nothing in this life has that power over me. Hi, my such words, but clouds that thunder seldom rain. Okay, we got more merit going on here. Wow, we are. We're really tired. Um, so we can sleep. Can we sleep in the. Let's sleep in the, the farmhouse. I forgot about being tired. That's not good. Alright, let's go 12 hours, fatigue to zero, and um, it'll be good. Okay. Let's see what else we can do. Let's eat. Eat spinach. Just eat all of it so we have more health. There's a shop here that's not open. There's a place of prayer. I think that's is that the Hindu temple. Damn. Okay. So let's keep on going. Um, okay. Let's go west. And we will hurry. I'm, just, I'm not happy that we're sad. Okay, in the dawns they flared windy red above stark blue, as Kedarnath and Badranath, kings of that wilderness, took the first sunlight. All day long they lay like molten silver under the sun, and at evening put on their jewels again. So evocative and lovely. Wow. Okay, we have people. We've got a couple of houses here. What is this house? Okay, flimsy padlock. Who are you? Aha! You are Kulu Sahiba's son? Alright, let's talk about your mother. Excuse me, are you the son of... Not again! She sent me to bring the message that you should come at once. When I last visited, I met every waif and stray that wanders Hind, and the talking! How do you stand it? I got an achievement there. Um, I find her charming company. Well, if you like her so much, you had better take my carriage back there. It will be a lot quicker. Tell her I would dearly love to be there, but I have too much to do. The British fools insist we grow indigo in these parts, as if they know a thing about agriculture in this soil. Um, ah, uh, let's see. She may give me a reward. So I'm going to say a carriage. Thank you. 
He, this is only one screen to the left of the village, so... Okay. Kim waited for the carriage to arrive, barely containing his excitement. It flew back to Sarun Pur, bumping on every rock and hollow on the tiny country roads. Okay. He sat, in defiance of municipal orders, astride the gun Zamzama on her brick platform opposite the old Ajaib Ger, the Wonder House, as the natives call the Lahore Museum. Who holds Zamzama, that fire-breathing dragon, hold the Punjab, for the great green bronze piece is always first of the conqueror's loot. And with that, we are back. And I have no more time for this episode, so I will um, end the episode here and we'll find out what happens with the Queen in the next one. I thank you so very much for joining me. I'm Catherine of Skye. Take care of yourselves and each other. I'll see you next time.